Hey everybody, it's your favorite Scarlet Reader, the Crimson Comic, back again. Finally got another haul video for you guys. Um, mostly collected editions, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, that kind of stuff. Um, I do have one single issue comic, and it's been one I've been looking for for a while, um, trying to find a good price on it. Um, so without further ado, let's jump on in, and I'll start with that one. So this, I've been stalking this online for a while, trying to find a good price, um, and it is... Captain EO. Uh, this is a 3D comic, um, and it is actually a, an adaptation of a uh, 3D film done by written by George Lucas um, that was an attraction at uh, Disney theme parks. And so I actually had a chance to see it because um, it's no longer um, at the theme parks, um, as far as I know. And but I had a chance to see it on my honeymoon when we went to Disney World. Um, they brought, they had it back for a short time, and it uh, we went, went last year, and it was no longer there. So, um, but this is from Eclipse Comics, and uh, one thing I had when I was looking for this um, online, one thing I wanted was for it to have the free 3D glasses included, and they are included. They're still attached um, in the comic, so. That was great. Plan on leaving those there. I'll probably get my own pair. Um, just find some cheap ones or something online to get. So that way I can actually read it um, as it was intended. But yeah, big Michael Jackson fan and Disney fan. So when those two things collided, I was pretty, pretty excited about that. Didn't realize until a few months ago that it was actually adapted into a comic. So, but pretty cool stuff. Um, and then next up, this is from IDW. Uh, this is Doctor Who Classics Omnibus. This is Volume 1. Um, this actually reprints the Marvel uh, Doctor Who books that they did. And it is, they are recolored and re inked. Um, that is one thing I did check to look at. Because the inks and the the coloring looked a little more modern than um, what I had seen, remember seeing of the old uh, old Marvel Doctor Who stuff. So um, I had a feeling that <laughs> it was, and then I I actually got uh, the first issue of the Doctor Who ongoing series with Marvel. So I uh, compared the two, and they definitely re-inked and recolored but looking forward to get into this read this pretty nice collection it's a little small um smaller than a the normal size so we'll compare here it's as you can see a little shorter a little smaller so that kind of stinks because not getting as big of pages but uh looking forward to it nonetheless so there you go and then, next up, I've got another Disney book. This is Gravity Falls Lost Legends. This just recently came out. It's a nice hardcover. Um, this was a TV show uh, on the Disney Channel, and I loved it. It ended way too soon, in my opinion. Um, and I was super happy that they released more uh, stories in the form of comics. It's actually written by the creator of the show, so that's awesome, too. Alex Hirsch. Um, pop the dust jacket off so you can see the inside. It's got a cool little question mark foil cover there. Nothing on the back. But uh, yeah, and the, the art, just like the TV show. So I highly recommend this show. It's really good. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to dig into those. So, Gravity Falls. And then I picked up the last volume, volume three of The Twilight Zone by J. Michael Straczynski. This is The Way Back. I read the first two volumes, um, got those recently, and really, really enjoyed them. Um, it's a little different than your typical Twilight Zone episode but uh it, it's got a pretty good story and it keeps you entertained and 
Um, there's a lot of mystery involved and whatnot. But yeah, it's good stuff. I recommend it if you're a Twilight Zone fan. At least pick it up, give it a try. At least start with one. You'll know reading the first volume if, if you'll like it or not. Um, but then moving on to DC, and this is the majority that I've picked up. Um, this is JSA Volume 6, Savage Times, continuing the Jeff Johns run. This is a used copy I got. It's a library copy, but I couldn't pass it up for the price. But yeah, so more, more of that. Looking forward to continuing that series. But, uh, yep, good old JSA. And then we got Dark Knight's Metal, Dark Knight's Rising. Um, this is uh, a lot of the uh, um, Dark Batman uh, tie-ins in here. So this collects, um, let's see. Well, it collects the seven Dark Knight uh, Batman tie-in one-shots and Dark Knight Rising, The Wild Hunt. So let me bust the ja jacket off of here and then I'll read off what it collects. So that's back, simple. Nice metal cover. Dark Knight's Rising. And then we have, hopefully it has the list. Oh, it doesn't. All right, well, it doesn't list the actual issues, um, but it's all the Batman. Oh, here we go. Uh, Batman the Red Death 1, Batman the Murder Machine, Batman the Dawnbreaker, Batman the Drowned, Batman the Merciless, Batman the Devastator, and Dark Knight's The Batman Who Laughs, Dark Knight's Rising the Wild Hunt. So that's what's collected in here, all those Batman tie-ins. pretty good art really good story I did finish reading all of the Dark Knight stuff all the events and the tie-in and whatnot it was really good I enjoyed it and then next up going along got Dark Knight's Metal the resistance this uh, collects all the tie-ins from the other series so this collects Dark Knight's uh, Okay, Dark Knight's Metal, The Resistance, collects Gotham Resistance, which is Teen Titans number 12, Nightwing 29, Suicide Squad 26, Green Arrow 32, and Bats Out of Hell, which is The Flash number 33, Justice League 32 through 33, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps 32, and it also, <coughs> excuse me, it also collects Batman Lost number 1 and Hawkman Found number 1. So... The one thing about this series and how it was collected, um, it's all over the place as far as this, the type of collected editions. As you can see, this is a trade paperback. Um, the The prequel book was a regular size hardcover. The Dark Knights uh, Rising that I just showed was a regular size hardcover, and then the Dark Knights Metal, an actual like event, it collects the issues was a uh, that was a deluxe hardcover so kind of random how they collected all those together not very uh, similar or anything next up got one I've been look, uh, wanting to get for a while here Batman Hush Jeff Loeb, Jim Lee classic story finally I will read it Looking forward to this. Always nice to have a good Batman story. So, can't wait to dig into that. And then we got Green Lantern Volume 7 Renegade. <clears throat> I think there's just one more volume. Volume 8, and then uh, I'll have all of the New 52 stuff. So this collects um, Green Lantern Sneak Peek number 1, Green Lantern number 41 through 46, and Green Lantern Annual number 4. Pop the 
dust jacket off here. It's kind of the classic look. Just got an emboss, which you probably can't see. Green Lantern uh, logo. Same thing on the side here. Won't bother showing you that because you can't see it. But uh, then, show you the interior here a little bit. Good stuff. Once I get volume 8, I'm going to plan on starting this. That way I can just burn through it. Really looking forward to this. So that's volume 7, Green Lantern. Next up, this is one from DC that I've been looking for for a while. I've been keeping my eye on it. Um, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it had a really low print run um, when it was brought to trade, but it was super expensive. It was like $30 used. Um, so I never found it. But then I one day I found it for like 10 bucks and I grabbed it. Um, and th th it is Static Shock Volume 1. So this is a New 52 series. Um, it didn't last. It was canceled, unfortunately. Um, I watched the cartoon uh, for Static Shock growing up, and I really liked it. That's really all I know about him is from that cartoon. Uh, I don't know much else, but uh, <clears throat> I've enjoyed a lot of the New 52 stuff, so I thought, well, he has a New 52 series. See if I can get it. Fortunately, it was expensive, um, but this collects... Uh, issues one through eight of Static Shock, so nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, so don't know what to expect really with this. But uh, hoping it, hoping it reminds me of the show at least, and I can have a little nostalgia from that. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of cool. That was a, I was happy to find that one. Um, for really cheap so static shock volume one next up we got gotham academy volume three yearbook um it's been taking me forever to collect these but i finally got volume three so i'll go ahead and then i, I think there's two more volumes it's the second semester uh let's see what does this collect does not say on the back This collects Gotham Academy 13 through 18 and Gotham Academy Annual 1. Um, but yeah, this is just a fun series that I enjoy. It's got some mystery to it. Um, the art really changes throughout this volume. It was not this drastic uh, in the previous volumes. Huh interesting but yeah so i've been enjoying this it's a fun little um I, i've heard it compared to like harry potter um things like that but uh it's not nearly as good in my opinion but it's, it's still a fun read so i'll keep going with that and then next up we got the silver age flash volume two happy to have this this is uh this is just the trade version <clears throat> not the omnibus and this collects the flash issues 117 through 132 now i've actually read quite a bit of this already um i forget exactly how far i've been i've read but i actually i have the for the four um flash chronicle books um that the dc released um before that's how they were collecting their like silver age golden age other uh, stuff we're, we're in the Chronicles they had one for Green Lantern, Batman, Superman all the all the guys and gals uh, but this actually overlaps with uh, Flash Chronicles number 4 or volume 4 so I've read quite a bit of this what's in here already but um, about probably about maybe half I would say I haven't read so looking forward to that keeping that going but yeah that's uh, Flash Silver Age Volume 2 and so that's it for my haul um, put Captain Neo back up there pretty happy about that one 
but yeah so thanks for watching guys um if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to hit that subscribe button and the like if you can um leave a comment let me know what you think um what you're interested in if you saw anything that piqued your interest um or if there's anything you'd recommend me based on what you've seen me pick up here um i always love love hearing recommendations and whatnot and uh yeah hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time